Hello, I just wanted to share a little bit more about our story. I posted, you know, like my IVF journey, my lost journey, but I don't think I ever actually shared my, how we got to IVF. So uh, we started trying in 2019. Um, I have a son from a previous relationship. I had my baby boy when I was 22. He is now nine and a half. Um, so when we weren't getting pregnant, right away I kind of thought something was going on but I thought whatever maybe my hormones are out of whack it'd been so long since I had a baby you know who knows um my fiance didn't like the idea of doing a semen analysis he was really like embarrassed about it which I get uh so I made a deal like by June of 2020 if I wasn't pregnant he had to go get it done so of course didn't get pregnant he goes and gets it done and we found out he has uh very little sperm what he does have is dumb and swims in circles. So yeah, there was nothing we could do is what we were told. Um, he took mitomotal for six months. He cut out red meat, he upped his exercise. He doesn't drink, smoke or do drugs. It never has, never will, his words. Um, so, and he drinks tons of water. So. Um, after three months of being consistent, he went for another analysis and we saw a slight increase, but we were told our only option of conceiving is IVF with ICSI. So that's uh, what we did in February of 2022. My stories are very delayed. I wasn't really ready. So, um, yep, 2022, I had 22 eggs retrieved, 18 mature, only 11 fertilized, and we only had three embryos. So we did a fresh transfer. I was heartbroken. We have two frozen, um, got pregnant, and then uh, baby was measuring six days behind consistently. So I was going for scans every two weeks. 13 week scan, baby was fine. And then oops, 15 week scan, baby didn't have a heartbeat anymore. So we have a 1% chance of conceiving naturally and the miscarriage we had was a 1% chance. I felt so angry. like. Why can't I get pregnant naturally with a 1% chance, but I can lose a baby with a 1% chance? So that's where we're at. We can't afford to do any more treatments right now until we can pay off our debt from uh, IVF, about $17,000. And um, yeah, saving up for a frozen embryo transfer. I received a few donations from my last video and I'm so, 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 so appreciative. I put it in my savings account. I have an FET savings account for it and I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna go, But that is my story.